hello and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to look at um, the list of universities that allow you to apply for a direct phd with just your bachelor's degree and the good thing is that all these universities i'm going to share with you you do have your funding sorted so without wasting much time let's dive right into it So without wasting much time, let's start. So as I said, I'm going to consider STEM and non-STEM. And most of these programs also require funding. The first university will be for STEM, and that's the University of Alabama for a PhD in Electrical Engineering. As you can see, I'm just going to show you um, that you could do it with a bachelor's degree. I'm not going to go into details on how to apply. But if this is something you want me to do, let me know in the comment section and which university and which program and we could do a live application. So for a PhD in electrical engineering, a bachelor's degree in electrical computer engineering. So we are good and we do know that with this university, with a bachelor's degree, we could apply for this program. It's very important that you visit the university's website to confirm because it's not all programs that make this possible. There are specific programs that, rec um, that allow you to do this. So that's why I'm showing you some of the programs. But if your program is not on the list, I'll just advise you to look at their requirements for the program and see if this is possible. So the next university is the City University in New York. So all these universities are actually in the U.S. So for this program, we are going to the sciences. So I've done one engineering. Now let's look at some of the sciences. And this is uh, biochemistry. The ideal applicant to the PhD program in biochemistry will have a strong undergraduate and academic background and record of research accomplishment in biochemistry or related experiential science. If you have friends who have background in biochemistry, let them know, share this information with them. And as you could see, for for the fall, the deadline is January 1st, so there's still time for one to apply. And like their tuition and fees, there's fellowships and financial aid, that's their financial aid, and more academic resources. And don't worry, at the end of the video, I'm going to share all these links with you. The third university I'm going to look at is Oklahoma State University, still in the sciences. So for a doctorate in biomedical sciences, let's look at the requirements. So you need to have completed a baccalaureate degree, which is similar to a bachelor's degree. And you need at least 3.0 and a 4.0 um, skill. And you need these kind of coursework. And once you've done that, you could actually apply to this program and for biomedical and the deadline is January 15th so there's still time to shoot your short course and assistance the stipend requirements so only students working towards a doctorate degree are eligible for stipend as I told you you could get graduate assistantship and you could get some scholarship or stipends for your study now let's move on to another university. So this is the sciences. Don't worry. We are going to go into the non-STEM. I promise you that you're going to get there. Don't worry. So this is University of Kentucky and we are looking at, um, so this is arts and sciences and this program is geological sciences. So for a doctoral program, admissions to pursue a PhD degree requires a bachelor's degree, a minimum grade point average of 2.75, which is good. The other ones were like three on four. So with 2.75, you could actually apply for this. And the, anything in areas of graduate research, so this is, you just have to take your time and read this. And they do offer financial aid. As there's a financial aid session here where you could get some financial aid. So now let's look at some non-STEM. The next university is Tulane University, the School of Liberal Arts. And this is economics, Department of Economics, yes. So as you can see, it's just not for the STEM. There are opportunities for non-STEM. You just have to look for it and you have to take advantage of it. And I, I'm always waiting for you. I'm always here to help you. So we enrolled PhD students, like they, they enrolled 
PhD students every two years. And so we are in luck. So for this year, the deadline is February 15, 2023. So there's still time to prepare your applications. And what they need is an undergraduate major in economics is desirable, but not necessary. Applicants must have a strong mathematics background, including one semester of metrics algebra and at least one year of calculus. Do not require the course in rural analysis is also strongly recommended. Students should also have a minimum GP of at least 3.3, so you could see that the requirement here is very high. For University of Kentucky, for the, the geological science uh, 2.75, here they require 3.3. And everything for non-native English speakers, you require GRE scores. And as you can see, generous fellowships are awarded and potential for scholarships. So as you could see, there is funding for this program. Now, I'm still in the Tulane University, there is this PhD in anthropology. And they state here that Applicants seeking to earn a PhD in anthropology from Tulane should apply for admission to the doctoral program, program regardless of whether they have an MA in anthropology. So even without a, a master's of arts in anthropology, you could still ap apply for this program. But I will always advise you to send them an email to confirm. So this is a four plus one. Yeah, send them an email to confirm this. They do not offer an external MA program. However, students in the PhD program can obtain an MA degree along the way. So do send them a, a, a message. Now let's go again back to the University of Kentucky. So this is agricultural economics. So the people in our Greek are not left behind and food and environment. So this program even though they require you to have a master's, they also state here that in exceptional case, a student may be admitted directly to the PhD program with only a bachelor's degree. There are fellowships and fundings where you could make good use of. So, so now this is the end of, um, I've, I've, I've given you like five universities that will allow you to apply directly with just your bachelor's degree, which also offer funding. I'm going to keep on updating this list. So this is a list of universities that can you can apply with just a BSc. This where the universities I showed in this video. I'm going to keep on updating it so you could come and check with time to see if i've updated it and also if you haven't yet watched this video Hello. i suggest you do i interviewed uh maybe Nizediafo. he he used a direct phg to he used a direct um bachelor's to phg path where right from his bachelor's education he applied for a phd at clemson university and he shared his story the good, the bad, and everything in between. So if you haven't yet watched this video, I suggest you watch this video. And always remember, I'm rooting for you and I'm wishing you all the best. If you haven't yet subscribed, kindly do so. And share this with your friends and family who might find this video useful. And have a great day. Until you hear from me again, bye.